is Brian McLaren, and the book is called Why Did Jesus, Moses, the Buddha, and Muhammad Cross the Road? Christian Identity in a Multi-Faith World. I started my career as a college English teacher, and then I became a pastor and was a pastor in the same church, just outside of Washington, D.C., for 24 years. Uh, during that time, I began writing, and now I'm a writer and speaker and networker and activist full-time. I think we Christians know how to do two things well. We know how to have a strong Christian identity that is hostile toward other faiths. And we know how to have a more tolerant identity that often results from weakening our Christian identity. So we have a, a strong and hostile and a weak and tolerant. And what I think we're all seeking is how do we have a strong and benevolent uh, Christian identity. That's the, uh, that's the quest of this book. I think all of us in the years since September 11, 2001 have felt that we have to deal with the seeds of hostility in each religion. Like a lot of people, when I began researching the book, I, I assumed that the, the problem that we have is, is a problem of differences. And if we could reduce the amount of difference, then we would increase the amount of harmony. But I became convinced that actually the opposite is true. Our problem isn't as much our differences as it is something that all religions hold in common. And that is a tendency to build a strong identity of, of us around hostility to them. One of the questions that comes to mind uh, on this subject of interfaith hostility is so uh, what do we have to overcome for that to change? And as I grappled with that question, I became convinced that we have four primary challenges that we have to face. First is the historical challenge. We've got to learn about our history, learn the reasons why that uh, the Christian gospel has so often been mixed with a message of conquest and hostility and opposition. Secondly, we have a doctrinal challenge. When we understand that historical context of domination and conflict, we then come to realize that many of our doctrines have been expressed as part of these larger social conflicts and, and historical uh, struggles. And that gives us the challenge then of rediscovering our doctrines, not as weapons of conflict, but as healing teachings, as the word doctrine really suggests. Third is the liturgical challenge because a lot of the things that we do when we gather as Christians, from our songs to our sermons to baptism and the Eucharist, could be great resources for healing and reconciliation, but they also uh, can be and have been uh, reinforcers of an us-them hostile oppositional mindset. When we deal with the historical, the doctrinal, and the liturgical challenge, then we can deal with the missional challenge how we go out into the world. I think um, many Christians would identify with me and my religious background, uh, where we, we had a very strong, passionate, committed Christian identity. That's why I think more and more of us are, are realizing uh, that we have to go to the core of our faith and in some ways rediscover our uniqueness and our distinctives as Christians, but rediscover them in ways that send us to people of other faiths with motivation for respect and hospitality and warmth and neighborliness. In, in one sense, knowing who it is that we follow, we shouldn't be surprised that that would be the case. But in another sense, looking at our history and looking at a lot of the rhetoric that we see happen around us every day, we know that we've got some, some work to do to get to that better place. I've been telling people in this book, I'm not trying to recruit readers, I'm really trying to recruit activists. I, I hope that people will be inspired to start mending the wounds that we've caused through uncautious rhetoric, through bad leadership for many of our religious and political leaders, uh, that, that we can start to mend those wounds by crossing the road to uh, make contact with people who are different from us, that, that we would develop the instinct of moving toward the other.